Recently, I made a couple videos about some of the bigger ticks that I had that involved much bigger body movements, much more complex ticks. And that led me to want to talk a little bit about how my ticks have changed and evolved over the years. Now, when I was a kid, like I said, some of my ticks were a lot bigger, but I still also had some of the smaller ticks that I still have today. I've had some ticks that have never returned. I've had some ticks that have come back. I've had new ticks before just for one day and then they have never come back. So when I was a kid, one of my first ticks that I ever remember doing consciously is a stomach contraction tick. That is a tick that is still with me today. It happens every single day of my life and it has morphed into more of a complex ticks where now a lot of the times when I do something with my shoulders or with my stomach, my shoulders move at the same time. So it has evolved into a more complex tick. On the other spectrum of that, I used to flick my head back. I used to do it over and over and over again. And I don't wanna do it right now because I'm afraid I'll make the tick come back, but that tick has not returned. I still have multiple neck ticks. My neck tick is one of my biggest ticks that I have. My other biggest tick that I have currently in my adult life is kicking the floor when I walk or hopping to one full foot and having a tick on the floor. Every day is different. I have no idea what's going to happen from day to day, sometimes even minute to minute or hour to hour. And my ticks have changed. They have ebbed and flowed all throughout my life and they have morphed into new ticks or morphed into more complex ticks. It's like my body is playing a game of roulette that I never agreed to and it just gets to pick how, how much I move and how tired I am every day.